and welcome back to my channel. I have a little bit of a different type of video for you today. I'm going to be tearing up paper and gluing it back together. Seems seems really illogical and when I was doing this craft it was a bit strange because I'm like literally I'm just ripping up this paper in order to glue it back together. But there is method to the madness because I did this originally for a work video. I did a video all about ancient Egypt. It was a children's information slash craft video and I will leave a link to it in a card and down below if you want to go check that out. So yeah, I was making this craft and it is meant to mimic papyrus paper, which is what the ancient Egyptians did. They got this plant called papyrus and they kind of ripped it up and then put it together and the glue inside the plant kind of stuck it together and they kind of left it out to dry. It's quite clever really. But you can also do this yourself and it does make good use of things like packaging paper. So I got some packaging because I've been doing quite a few Amazon orders during the recent few weeks because there's not a lot else to do and yeah so I got the paper from the packaging and then I mixed half and half water and Elmer's glue, Elmer's school glue or any other school glue will do and then dunked the strips into the glue it's very very messy it was oddly satisfying though and just dunking it in and then just sticking it to some wax paper and the reason I use wax paper is because I would be able to peel it off afterwards but things like tin foil would work as well. So what I did is I got my strips of paper, dunked them in the glue and then put them onto the wax paper and I did it in strips. So first of all I did a row of horizontal strips and then no vertical strips. I did this when I was making my work video. I had to correct myself using text because I got confused with the difference between horizontal and vertical. So first of all, I did vertical stripes and then over the top with some horizontal stripes. And then I left it to dry overnight and then it hardened and became one piece of paper. It's almost like card really, other than paper. And then I cut around it to get rid of the excess wax paper because it was quite tricky to peel off. At first I thought it didn't work, but it did work just have to cut around it and then you find an opening and just peel off the wax paper and then get rid of that and then you're left with a piece of parchmenty type paper and it is a lot thicker and sturdier and it has a much better texture to draw on than the packaging paper before I ripped it up and glued it together and then I just tore around the edges because I didn't like how the cut up paper looked it was too smooth and I thought this looked a lot better it looks more old and looks just a little bit more authentic. So for my work video I did some hieroglyphics on one of the pages and filmed that but for the other piece of paper I wanted to do something a little bit more extra, I don't really know how to put it, something a bit more adult, doesn't really work either but something just a little bit different and I thought I could film it for my own channel and I wanted to do an Egyptian lady. She doesn't look very ladylike at the moment but I do fix the proportions in a little bit, don't worry, it doesn't look as as creepy as she does right now. But yeah, I had a really good time with this. I just wanted to try it out, try and make my own paper and see what the surface was like. And I'm using my polychromos and my Prismacolor pencils, mostly Prismacolor for the skin and then polychromos for the rest. And yeah, in the end I was pleased with how it turned out. It was quite a nice surface to draw on. It was textured but not too textured. And I wanted to give the piece a little bit of an unfinished look. So I wanted the bits of the paper to come through because if you look at Egyptian art, ancient Egyptian art, it looks like it's been worn away, which is pretty obvious really because it's been hundreds and hundreds of years. So it looks like some of it's been worn and that was the look that I was going for. I wasn't too perfectionist about it, if that makes sense. I didn't make sure the whole surface was completely covered. I just did it in a bit more of a sketchy way and I think it worked really well and I really like the textures of the paper and how that does come through the pencils. And I also use my Artistro paint pens. I used a gold one for the collar and for a headdress and I used a blue one and a red one for the beads around the collar as well. And I also did something that I don't normally do for the hair, I just used black, a flat black colour. And partly this was because 
that is the look of the ancient Egyptian wigs. I wanted that to come through. And also, I didn't press really, really hard, too hard on the hair. I wanted the texture of the paper to come through and that worked a lot better with just one flat colour rather than if I was doing it how I normally would do it, where I'd use dark browns and blues. It wouldn't come through as well. I think it works a lot better in this instance to have just the flat black colour and then added some highlights with the white pencil and the white paint pen on top. So I am breaking my own rules, but you know, you gotta break the rules sometimes. And I think it worked really well. As you can see, the texture of the paper is coming through quite nicely. And that is the look that I really wanted. I'm happy with it. I'm sorry that I used the black pencil and I know that I normally tell you not to do that, but it's okay. I, I'm happy with the piece and that is all that matters. Once I had done the head and part of the collar, I used my gold Artistro paint pen and I do have a video where I reviewed these pens and talk about them properly. So if you want to know a bit more about these pens, then I will leave a link to that video. And yeah, I'm really pleased with how it turned out. The gold worked really nicely over the top of the paper and I imagine if you make this paper yourself, you could probably do a nice piece with some paint pens as well as pencils. Markers probably wouldn't work as well, but paint, acrylic paint would. Maybe gouache would work as well, I don't know. Oil pastels and crayons would be good too. So yeah, maybe you can make your own paper out of paper you already have. It does sound really stupid to tear paper up and make paper, but with finer paper, I've got quite a bit of thin paper that I don't really know what to do with. It's coloured paper that doesn't really hold a lot on it. So if you've got some fine paper, that you don't really know what to do with, you can maybe rip that up and glue it back together. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Katie. I do all sorts of different art videos. This is a little bit different from what I normally do. It's a bit shorter, just because I wanted to post this on my own channel after doing this video for work. But if you're new, subscribe. It's good to see you here and hit the notification bell just because I don't really have an upload schedule. So whenever I upload, you'll get a notification. And yeah, if you like this video, you know, emotionally, do leave it a like down below as that really does help me out. And thank you for watching. And I'm really pleased with how this piece turned out. And it's a really good little craft. And I would recommend you ripping up some paper and gluing it together because it does give a nice texture. So that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.